All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to show you how you can create that dreamlike disoriented effect in DaVinci Resolve. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so as you can see here, I have a clip within my timeline and it looks a little bit on the dreamy side already, but I think we should enhance this quite a bit more. So to do that, we just need to go over to the right side under toolbox, under open effects, and filters, make sure to have that open. And then in the search bar, we can type in, we can type in stop motion, click and drag that on top of the video clip. And then in the right side inspector, just make sure to have it open by clicking that inspector button on top. We go under effects, and this is going to be the bread and butter for what we're doing today. So make sure to have both of these options open, both the uh, frame rate and the blend because we are going to be working with both. So at 100% uh, of the blend, if we just play it back with the five frame repeat, then it's going to look something like this, really choppy, and that might be what we're looking for, but in this instance, I'm going to change that up. So what the frame repeat option is going to do is basically insert five frames between the next section. So it's going to take a single frame, copy it five times, move on to the next frame, copy that five times. So it's basically overlaying itself onto the next four. So we see this frame, three, four, five, moves on to the next one, two, three, four, five, moves on to the next one, two, three, four, five. And we get a pretty good idea of what it's doing just by that moving forward on the the timeline by going frame by frame using the right arrow keys so in this case i think five is a little bit too much for what we're going for and i'm going to drop that down to three yeah i think that looks pretty good so we get a little bit of that smooth motion with still a little bit of that stop frame choppiness and then to make it a little bit more dreamlike what we're going to do is actually use the blend so if we drop this down to about 50% or so, then what it's going to do is basically overlay those still frames on top of the original video clip. So we're going to get that three frame choppiness on top of the clean and crisp original smooth video that's playing back in the background. And then what we get is this sort of effect. And with just that alone, I think we're nearly there. But to enhance it even a little bit more, we can add a few extra things. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go back to the toolbox here, and I'm going to type in vignette. As I think if we're going for a dreamy type look, we should definitely be using a vignette. So we can double click on it to open it up. And what I like to do is because there's a nice white spot in here, I don't want to choose my own color. I'm going to pick a color from the screen and I'm just going to look for the brightest spot on here, which seems to be right around here because I don't want the vignette to be brighter than the brightest spot in the video. So I'm going to pick that. I think that's going to be the brightest spot. And then we can play around with the size I'm going to bring this down a little bit so it's only hitting the edges when we can see that right here. I'm not going to play with this slider right here. I don't think we need to change the shape of it at all. But I am going to increase the softness just a bit. And I'm going to turn the global blend down just a little bit as well. And you'll see why in a moment, but basically at the end of this, I'm going to throw in another vignette. So I'm going to double it up so this first one doesn't have to be overly dramatic. So if we turn that on and off, we can see it's adding quite a lot, even though it is still subtly blended in, but it does add a little bit more of that dreamscape-y kind of a look. So to enhance that even further, what we can do is because we have a lot of light coming through the window, and when I usually think of that dreamscape sort of kind of a scene. I think of a lot of light coming through. I think of a haze. So I think the best way to enhance this even more is to add light rays. So let's click and drag those on top as well. 
and this is completely blown out and over the top by default, so let's adjust that. So we double click on the light rays on the side, and let's soften this up and turn the brightness down a little bit. And I'm actually going to increase the length. Maybe turn that softness down so we get a little bit more of those rays coming through. That looks pretty good to me. We adjust a threshold a little so it's mostly coming through that window without blowing out the remainder of the scene. And maybe just turn the blend down just a touch. And I think that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, so we get her going through this sort of fog-like haze that's coming through the window, but because it's dreamscape-like, it's being created by light, which I think perfectly suits the atmosphere that we're going for. And now that we have these three, what I'm going to do is also throw in just a little bit of blur. So if we close that, our blurs are at the very top, and I think a zoom blur is going to work very well for this. You can try the other ones, but I'm going to pick zoom just because I do want to kick this in a little. And from playing around with this earlier, the radial blur worked pretty well as well. Or if we went into fusion, we can mask it and get it an even better result. But for a quick down and dirty kind of a blur, I think the zoom was going to work perfectly well. So first thing I'm going to do is actually change the center here. So I want to make sure that the center of it is going to be as set as uh, clear as possible. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit. And here we see that the center is actually pretty, pretty clear while the sides are getting blurred. And I'm going to go back to my video. And if I move forward a little, we can see here she's not perfectly centered. So what I'm going to do is zoom in a little until these black edges go away. So maybe somewhere around here seems good. And then move the X position over so she's a little bit more centered in the shot. I think that looks pretty good. So let's go back to our effects and now let's adjust that blur again. So if we go here, then we can change the zoom amount and the position a little bit. So I'm going to bring that over just until she is perfectly centered again and she's the one that's uh, being clear so right around there seems pretty good maybe bring it over a little bit more because we know that she's going to be going to the left I can change the vertical and I think that looks pretty good right there and the global blend in this case seems pretty fine to me so if I scrub through this we can see the outside here is getting a lot more blurred Meanwhile, she's a little bit more clear. So that looks pretty good to me. And now my computer is going to struggle to play this back, but I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah, it's not very happy right now, but it doesn't really matter. All we're looking for is the look that we want. And then when I render it out, I'll show you the final product. So the last thing I'm going to do is add that last vignette back in. And this one, we also want it to be subtle, but we want this one to be the one that's going to finish it off. So what I'm going to do here this time is adjust the size a little bit more so we get a little more of that coverage. I'm going to increase the softness a little bit more. And we can see here with the black around the edges, it is coming through a little bit more than last time, which is exactly what we want. And then here we're going to go with the color. I'm going to pick a screen color. And this time I'm going to go for a little bit of this bluish hue that's coming through around here. And this one I'm going to turn down again just a little bit to give it that final dreamscapey type look. And now what I'm going to do is quickly render this, throw it back into the timeline, and I'll play you the finished result. Okay, so we're back, and what I've done is just import the video back in over top of the original. So this one is going to be the one that we created. 
and I think this is exactly the mood that we were going for. It's got that dreamlike quality. It looks a little bit hazy. It's got that that feeling of you don't quite remember all the details quite right because the sides are blurred out. So this is perfectly in line with what I was going for. And I'll play it back one more time and I'll just flip the video on and off so you can see the original and how much of an impact these couple little tweaks did to the video. All right, and there we have it. That's how you create this dreamscape kind of a look within DaVinci Resolve with just a couple of these stock filters in the edit tab. And if this video was helpful at all, let me know in the comment section below, as well as letting me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. I want to create content that you want to see, so let me know what it is that you want to see. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.